Hi guys, welcome back. We'll have a look at Mariana Cross by Ghost. I'll show you guys how to play the song quickly. This is a no capo version. I already have made a lesson on the acoustic, which is I think without the capo. And I'm also thinking of showing you guys this riff. And all this. So let's get started. Firstly, we have two parts to learn. We got the verse and chorus, so we have two chord progression. Now we'll have a look at the two riffs which we have. Now riffs are pretty identical, like the notes just uh, get interchanged between them. So first riff goes like this. My guitar is in the stand sitting, it's on the B string and I'm going. I'm playing 9, 12, 11, 12, then 9. I do it another time, so we got. One more time, same thing, I'll play 9, 12, 11, 12. I'll stop on the 12th fret and won't be playing the 9th fret anymore. So we got. Now I'll do this. I'm playing 16, 16, then 14, 14, then 12, 12, then I play 14. So 12, 14, 12. Then uh, 11, then 9. Oh, I hope the riff is clear, you can see the tab. Now let's play together, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the another riff which we have, I heard this uh, I think in the second chorus and all, I think it goes like this. It's pretty same, the only change it goes like this. I do a pull off from 12 to 11 on the B string, again do the same thing, then play 9 from the B string. Repeat that, so we got, one more time. So the third time you're not playing 9 from the B string like you did for the previous riff. You're staying on the 11th from the B string and you then, then do the same thing, 16, 16, 14, 14. 12, 14, 11, sorry, 12, 14, 12, 11, 9, so we got. So I hope the two riffs are actually crystal clear. We'll have a look at the chord progression of the verse. It goes like this. Uh, we have a G sharp minor chord. I bar the whole 4th fret, 6th fret on A and D. Then I go to... A B major chord. I bought the whole seven fret. I got uh, eight fret on the G string, nine fret on A and D. So I got. And after that, I play this chord shape, which is basically a F sharp major. I have A string, nine fret. I got eleven fret on D G B. Top string and the high E string major. So we got. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You repeat that line another time. Just a minute. The third line will be exactly same, but what we do is instead of playing the F sharp major chord, letting that ring for two bar, we'll just add a E major chord, which is like a F sharp major chord two frets down. So seven fret on E, nine fret on D G B. So the first three lines of chord we had. Now repeat the same thing another time, right? And after you've done that, we'll basically go to the chorus. Over here we have G sharp minor, then B major, then F sharp major, and then we'll hit the E major chord, uh, we'll stay there for a bit more long time. So it goes like this. Let me go for down, down, up, up, down, down. So we have. So we got. Finally to the chorus, uh, now over here we'll play a G sharp minor chord, then a B. So finally we get to the chorus, we'll start with the B major chord over here. Then a G sharp minor. So, then go to C sharp minor chord, it's barring the whole 4th fret, 5th fret on the B string, 6th fret on D and G. Bring it 2 frets up, it's an E flat minor. Where we on the cross. So, maybe, 
Ravi. Oh no. So uh, then we go to the F sharp major chord, and then we end the chorus with a G major chord. So, da, na, 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 na. That's how you play the chorus. So we got. Oops. That's it for the whole song. I hope the video helped you out. If you have any doubt regarding any other part of the song, please let me know. And as always, be sure you guys drop me one of these if you haven't yet. And also, make sure you guys subscribe. It means a lot. Working super hard for you guys. That's it. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.